Hello everyone, BrickShips1912 here. I'm sorry if you can hear my fan in the background, but today I will be answering the questions that I have gotten from all the community posts and Instagram posts, Discord notifications that I got for this Q&A, because I wanted to do another one because it's been around a year since the last one. So, without any more stalling, let's get into the first one. The first question... The first question is from Lucap, and their question is, Do you have any plans on making a White Star Line fleet? And they also say they love my videos, which thank you for that. One day I would like to have one of every White Star Liner, maybe, maybe some doubles, because, like, maybe two of the big four or something like that at a later date. But at the moment, I'm just uh, focusing on getting more animations out. Like, I want to do the Olympic movie, if you haven't seen it, go watch it, it's cool. The Olympic movie teaser. But yeah, I'd, I would like to one day have a LEGO White Star Line fleet, along with a few uh, Cunardas, like Queen Mary, Lucy, Mori, Aquitania, Campania, all them. They will happen one day. But on to the next question. Our next question is from Over Speed Limits. Is it possible for you to make the Great Lakes Sailor C and B? Maybe one day. I haven't really made any Great Lakes ships since my horrendous versions of uh, at the Edmund Fitzgerald. But maybe I'll look into doing that one day. It'd be an interesting ship to do. But, on to the next question. So our uh, next question is from TTTV Ninja Prime NL. Sorry if I butchered that name. What was your first model? My first model way back, even before I started the YouTube channel, was a LEGO Titanic. And they also had a part two to this question. Have you ever had a model that has just disappeared into the black back rooms and then later found? I haven't had like whole models disappear, but sometimes after I've scrapped one and I go looking in my Lego bins for more pieces for another, I will sometimes find surviving re remains of an older model. I found a few of the 2019 Titanic at some times. But, on to the next question. Our next question is from Hey8. How long have you been doing for, like, doing Lego in total? Well, if it's Lego sets that you're wondering, it's since 2009, since I was starting primary school, geez, now I've just finished it. And have you done any other mocks than liners? Um, a while back I did an E2 tank engine and a Model T Ford, both of those models horrendous. And back before, way before I discovered ocean liners, I used to build a lot and a lot of trains. Like, I built Thomas's, all them. But that was way before I found ocean liners. And what got me into Lego, um, I'm pretty sure I was introduced to it by my dad. Pretty sure that's how I was introduced to it. I remember at my grandma and grandpa's going there and they'd have this massive two tubs of Lego 
that I get to play with, and I'm pretty sure that's where I started. So, on to the next question. This next question is from Gaming with Emerald, and they ask, how many times was Olympic called Titanic? The last time I went to Brickvention, you also mean the first time because I haven't been multiple times. Um, too many that I lost count. Even if I had brought, say, Mauritania to Brickvention, she would have been called Titanic because if they're not a Titanic buff or a ship enthusiast, anything with four funnels equals Titanic. It could have a completely different silhouette Titanic. But since Olympic is Titanic's sister and they are practically identical except for promenades, all that, and the sort of annoying thing was was I had her in a different paint scheme in her 30s. I sort of don't blame them. But it was annoying. So, on to the next question. Our next question is for from TSW Video Channel. They've got a multi-question here. Um, what project did you rage on the most? A real recent one, Lego Titanic The Disaster at Sea, was a pain in my butt. Especially when it came to the breakup. Because I was going to do it physically, and I... You'll see in the eventual behind the scenes, which I'm planning to get out next year, around the time of the first year anniversary of the film being out. Two... Did you let one of your projects fall once? Mm. I'm trying to think on this. Have I had a, ever had one fall? Well, I've dropped them a lot. Like, I've dropped a few of them. The way I just dismantled my first ever Queen Mary 2, I threw it at the floor. But in terms of dropping it, not that many. And the last part, will you do a warship or carrier? I've never really been into aircraft carriers. I think they're cool. Like, they're incredibly cool looking. But I'm not really one for military vessels. I might do warships. But we'll have to wait and see for the future. On to the next question. Our next question is from Logan Half Garden. Any plans on building Lusitania or one of the big four? I would love to build Lucy one day. I do like Lusitania, despite her being another one of the cookie cutter disasters I would like to build her and I would actually like to build one of the big four they were one of the last few ships of the White Star Line along with Olympic and B Britannic and all that on to the next question but yes I will want to do them one day This next question is from Icebat. If you were to uh, collaborate with another YouTuber, who would you pick? A little more on uh, that one in a, in a later time, but... Who would I pick to do a YouTube animation sort thing with? Stop motion animation with? There's so many good ones out there. I'd probably do one with Kropa, that would be cool. He's, he's one of my uh, inspirations for doing stop motions. 
and Hundbrox. I would they would be so much fun to work with on a ship related project. Although I doubt they will go with me because I'm relatively small when it comes to that and not all that good with stop motion. I'm still learning all the tips and tricks for it. So on to the next question. The next question is from the naval guy. What was your first Lego set? My first Lego set was Lego set 8402, a red car. That was the first one I remember building. It might not be my first ever one, but that's the one I can remember constructing by myself. How did I get into YouTube? Um. Funny enough, my YouTube inspirations were Markiplier and Jacksepticeye and all the other gaming channels of 2016, so I was going to do a lot of things. LEGO was not originally on the channel. Didn't actually happen until 2017, so a whole four months. And why are you interested in ships? I honestly don't know. I'm probably because they are engineering marvels, like the fact that they got ships the size of the Olympic moving, like they're just pure manpower, and they just look cool. Like look at them. Look at the Oceanic Three there, despite her missing her lifeboats. On to the next question. Our next question is from Garf. That's a weird, weird name. How many times have you worked with Fitzcrits? Honestly, I've lost count. We've, lo we've worked together a lot, and we're going to work together on a lot more in the near future, and the later future, and probably for the remainder of time. But, on to the next question. Our next question is from Goofy Gaming. Do Poseidon please. Um, what Poseidon do you want? Like, do you want the original, so basically Queen Mary, or do you want the more modern cruise ship sort of one? If I was going to do any, it would probably be the Queen Mary Poseidon, but do tell me in the comments below when I might think on it one day, depending on sizableness of the ships, because I don't want to out Lego myself. Oceanic there is already doing it. So, on to the next question. Our next question is from Crazy Minions. Can you make the Queen Mary? I would love to one day make the Queen Mary. I have designed a very, very shocking, horrible, early, early time me building on LEGO Digital Designer, but that thing's horrible. I will be remaking it before I even present that to you. But yes, one day I would like to make the Queen Mary, it's just, at the moment, having Queen Mary and uh, Oceanic 3, it's a bit of a stretch. So it might be a little ways down the line. On to the next question. Our next question is from NFS Hedgehog. Can you make the SS Orang Madan in Lego? Isn't she the uh, very, very famous ghost story ship? I think that's what it is. I haven't really looked into Orang Madan in a long time. It does sound like that is the, the ghost ship. I might do it. Yet again, got a lot of projects on at the moment. The Olympic movie is main concern and other things that will be shown in later times but 
On to the next question. Our next question is from Maria Travick. I'm sorry if I butchered that name. But their question is, will you build a sister slash running mate for the Oceanic named Colossic? If I was going to build Oceanic's running mates, they would be Georgic and Britannic. I'm sorry if that has crushed anything, but I'm going to stick to the realism of if Oceanic 3 was built, that she would have been running around with MV, Britannic, and Georgic. But... Good question, I just also don't have the room to keep another giant ship. I already have Olympic, and... Like, Olympic's still pretty sizable. Compared to, a uh, Oceanic. But, on to the next question. Our next question is from Robert Buzzard. Did you ever build military battleships out of Lego? I have built three Bismarcks. Two of them were never shown, and one of them was never completed. Other than that, not really. I haven't really delved too deep into warships and battleships and all that. Maybe one day, but they have a completely different design to them from Ocean Liners. And I'm not all that good at that design. Because if you look at my HM... Oh wait, I'm forgetting about someone. My vampire model that I made ages ago. Yeah, just look at my vampire model. That's why I don't do military ships. So, on to the next question, everyone. Again, another question from TSW video, Tiny Sailor's World video channel. That's my cat barging into my room. I'm sorry for that, everyone. Did you ever try building a ship, then completely destroying it because you didn't get the shape you wanted? A Key, yes, a key example of this would be how many times I rebuilt the Titanic. Like, since 2016 all the way to 2020, I had been practically just perfecting the Titanic. I would built occasionally Queen Mary and all that in the, and I had an Olympic, I had a Dazzle Olympic, but yeah, I have destroyed a lot of ships and got them more and more close to how they are. And without that, we wouldn't have the lovely Olympic sitting here in front of you. On to the next question. Our next question is from RMS Titanic. Are you going to do more customs? Um, I don't know what you're meaning here, like, custom ocean liners? I'm, I'm probably not going to dwell into custom builds, I like to build real things. Except for really, Oceanic 3, I did take some creative freedom with that. Inspired off what she probably looked like using the ships of the time of the White Star Line, MV Britannic and all that. But, if you're in the comments section of RMS Titanic, please do give a little bit more detail, because that question is a little bit confusing. Now on to the last question for the night. Our last question for the night. Are you planning a Royal Caribbean ship soon? Maybe, maybe one day. I don't know when this will be, but perhaps it will happen. I don't know what. They are very big ships. 
And I sort of want to get more ocean liners done before I go jumping into the modern day with cruising and all that. And I want to also get the ships that I have now finished, like Oceanic 3, all that. But, that is it for today's video. I do hope you all enjoyed. I'm sorry this video took forever to make. I was in the middle of finishing high school when I decided I was going to do another Q&A, so that's why it's taken a little bit to get out. But other than that, I do hope you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.